Hey everyone, I'm Andy Jenks with Henrico County Public Schools and this is video number five in a series of videos designed to help families and students be successful and ready to go on the very first day of predominantly virtual learning, which is Tuesday, September 8th. We've reviewed several platforms and how to get into our devices and at this point we feel like we're on the doorstep of class on that very first day of school. John Gregori is back here. He's with our teaching, learning and innovation team. John, thanks again for your time and we're talking in this segment about clever and Schoology, two kind of unusual names if you haven't really been familiar with them, but it's really important to get familiar with them because they both play a huge role in online virtual learning. So John, what are Clever and Schoology? What do they do and how do we find them? Great, thanks Andy. Uh, we talked earlier in that first video, it's great to be back, a little bit about this analogy of connecting some of these virtual resources we have to what we traditionally know of a school day. So we talked about the device being the transportation. And as we move in through that analogy, Clever is a, an application the division uses that creates a virtual ID badge for our students. And not a literal ID badge with, that a student would hold up with a photograph, but it's a single sign-on application that allows our students to sign in with their username and password one time which grants them access to all the digital learning applications that we have. The division has set up the Chromebook so when a student opens Chrome, and Chrome is right at the bottom on what we call the task bar, that's that bar at the bottom that has the icons. When a student opens Chrome, it automatically opens several tabs that they're going to need for learning, one of them being clever. And so it's sort of like, I've been dropped off at school because I've logged into this computer. Now I need to walk through that front door of my school, and I'm going to walk through Clever. So we've already added some information for your son, Andy. And I'm going to go ahead, when I'm on Clever, the first time it's going to say, log in with Acti Active Directory. That basically is some fancy technology term for, we've got a list of all of our students. We know their usernames and passwords securely. And when a student, because they've already logged on the computer, the computer knows who they are, and so when I click on Log On with Active Directory, it's going to let me go into the program and kind of show my ID badge. So we're going to let that one load up. Over here on my Dell laptop, I'm in the same space, and you can see they're pretty similar. I'm going to use this one as a reference. What this has granted me access to as a student is individualized learning applications based on, on who I am, so what school I go to, and what grade level I'm on. And even my teacher has the ability to add some applications that they want to use specifically with me. So this is a great place to start every single day of online learning. In fact, when we're in the school building, we start on this page every day with our students when we're using the laptops, the Chromebooks, or the iPads. So I'm taking a look at the page here, or we can see it over here on the Chromebook. Important to note, this is the, being that ID badge, that, that front door to my school building, and it's going to take us into our classrooms. So let's take a quick look when we get into Schoology. Courses, I'm in the building, I'm at school, I'm ready to learn, I need to go into courses. So all of our students will go to courses. And one of the great things about Schoology, it's very visually oriented. So I've created a few sample courses just so we can see for this demonstration today. And I wanna take you into one. Um, so we're gonna go jump right in here into this sample homeroom. Every student's courses are gonna look a little bit differently than this, and you know our teachers are all about engagement, so they design interesting logos to really make their courses stand out. So you should be able to see them right under courses, and I'm gonna click on Homeroom. When I go into Homeroom, this is a typical look and feel of what a classroom looks like in Schoology, in the virtual world. So we've got the image that shows us and reminds us what course we're in. We're, we always start in materials, and we've worked with our teachers to always have a pinned update at the top. That's the most important information that any student will need when they enter a classroom. It's sort of like having the, the schedule for the day written up on the board when a student walks in. So we have that right at the top. There's also a section for updates where teachers can have regular updates, and we'll show that in just a moment. But back to this main materials page, if I scroll down, there are folders, just like we've interacted with almost anything on a computer. You have folders, and within those folders, we can have assignments, documents, links nested and organized so that if students can find them. But the thing I really want to show is that Schoology is our virtual building and classroom. Microsoft Teams is where we have that live interaction with our teachers and our classmates. So how do we get to that? Well, we've worked with our teachers to make this as seamless as possible. Within the virtual classroom, my course, in this example, my homeroom sample course, we've asked teachers to put the link to Microsoft Teams virtual classes right at the top 
of the course. So every school is going to look a little bit different, but we've worked with them to make that as obvious as possible for the students to find and anybody supporting our learners. So I'll show you real quick. If I click on this Teams meeting, it's going to open up a screen that's going to give me some options. We have the option to use the browser, a desktop app, and all the different levels are going to have a, a different variation. We'll come back to that in a moment. But I did want to show what Teams looks like. So I'm in Microsoft Teams now. Essentially, Microsoft Teams is a video conferencing application. We use it for live virtual interaction. So when I'm in Teams, I'm going to say join. I can start with, and we recommend this, having our camera and our microphone off when we start the meeting, and we'll go ahead and join. Now for a student, students will go immediately into a waiting room because teachers have set up all their courses to allow students to enter the Microsoft Teams meeting, but they'll actually go into a waiting room where the teacher will allow them in. So that's an important safety feature. So we know that we have an adult supervision in any of the meetings that we have going online. And so you can sort of see what this looks like in Teams. And so, John, we're going to spend more time on Microsoft Teams in a later video in this series, but we've also spent time looking at Schoology through the student perspective and what the student will experience when he or she logs into her, his or her device. But parents can also have Schoology accounts, which are really beneficial for following school-based communications, also kind of keeping a tabs on the student's schedule, any progress, or any other messages that may be coming directly from a teacher as opposed to checking your email in some other place. So is that a fair way to describe how parents can benefit from Schoology as well? And, and if so, where do you even go to get started creating that account? Yeah, Andy, I think this is an important distinction to make really clear for our students and families. It's that family members, parents and guardians, have the ability to create their own separate Schoology account. And we'll, we'll show where to do that in just a moment. And then they can connect to their student through an access code that they get in PowerSchool. So we've covered PowerSchool in some other videos. In PowerSchool for parents, they have the ability to access that unique code per child. So if they have multiple children, they need to go into PowerSchool and pull that code out. And when they log in and create their own Schoology account, they can then connect to each of those children. And the benefits, benefits of this are immense. First of all, the parent has the ability to sign up for a digest. That is a report that's auto-generated based on the schedule that they set up daily, weekly, that would send information about the learning progress of their student in Schoology. That would be assignments, upcoming tests, um, calendar events that comes directly to their email. Big advantage is as a parent, I'm busy, I've got all kinds of things going on, but an email coming to me is going to save me a bunch of time rather than always having to log on. Another benefit is for the safety and security of our students. Through viewing your students' materials as a parent account connected to them, it protects the identity of the other students in the course. So we really recommend that parents sign in and create their own account in Schoology. I'll show those instructions in a moment. And that they connect to their students so that they can oversee what their students doing in Schoology and also keep the information of the rest of our students secure. So if I was interested in finding out how to do that, on the Henrico County website, I'm going to go there real quick and start from the top, we have supports, excuse me, teaching and learning, and under online services, we have a new page or an updated page called the connection. It says all kinds of information that will help you both with the power school information we talked about earlier, but additionally, if we scroll down here, there is a complete section with videos and instructions on Schoology for parents and guardians. This would have all the step-by-step -step information any parent or guardian would need to be able to create that account in Schoology and access and connect to their child's account in Schoology so they can oversee what they're doing day to day in school and even get that digest sent to them, which would be a great time saver. All right, John Gregory, thanks very much. We've got one more segment with you and we're going to talk about what happens in Microsoft Teams for classes as they're actually taking place. Join us then.